God, I hate this bloody phone. Keeps stopping anyway. Underneath the 1970 911 Targa. Uh, we're at the driver's door, and you can see there is a hole there, and it sounds rather dull. I will try and close in on that so you have a door hole or a hole in your door. Um, moving down the front fender. And underneath. I'll crawl a bit further over there. So this is the floor which looks good and is good but sadly in my opinion you will have to replace all of it because where the water leaked and puddled you can hear that is just dull there is just corrosion there there is no metal it's just corrosion I can put my chubby little sausage finger through there. So, as stated, and there's videos from the top, this floor is gone in places, but gone in such a way that repairing the floor is futile, in my humble opinion. And it would be easier, and the card is partially stripped, so a lot easier to welding new floor pans. Uh, onto the rocker panel, I'll go from the top end. I'll hold this in such a way I don't stop the video and do some egg china style tapping. So feel solid enough, um, top of the sill. I'm wondering if there is a skim of Bondo just there, which obviously would be... I'm trying to pull back so you can see it. So that one to me looks like metal underneath, and then an inch and a half away. I don't know if that's Bondo. I mean, clearly a blind man um, decided to repaint the car black. Uh, this was not the fault of the previous owner. He swears he didn't do it because I was uh, kind of making fun of whoever did this. But as he said, you know, 20, 30 years ago, these were literally throwaway cars, especially the Targa. It was the unloved etc etc of the uh, the air called 911 world and that's how he acquired it cheaply for him because literally nobody wanted a 911 targa or at least it wasn't perceived as cool i mean my 912 targa i loved it because it was a targa fantastic vehicle but i've always been a bit of an oddball in life sadly um a very clean drain hole in there so i don't know whether that means that these rocker panels or sills were replaced at some point because that looks that looks like a really clean and deliberate hole and then you've got two holes here that i guess Maybe a stainless steel sill or something was mounted to, so you've two there, and then if I move down two there, I move down two there, and uh, yeah, you've got a big drain hole there, big drain hole there, and it continues down with these holes, you can see that one there.
if we get back underneath to the jacking point, that's clearly gone. So yeah, the front of the car, pretty solid. The back of the car, pretty solid. The middle of the floor pans, pretty solid. The edge where water accumulated and puddled on both sides at the rear needs replacement. Bring your welder to bring a trailer. But the actual car itself is not too bad and everything is subjective, I get that. But in my opinion, this is way better than simply a parts car and you know i get it you got people yeah to bring it to condition two and concours and all this kind of stuff not everybody does that my dream car is a Renault 16 tx in metallic green from 1978 with cb driving lights but uh if it was concours i'd never drive it i'd want it in a usable condition and if you're one of these chaps that oh yeah to get it to concourse you're just looking at the wrong car you want to start with uh, something really really good if you if you go in that route or as we all know the cheapest way buy one that's finished so here we are at the back end target that hoop that target hoop stainless steel or brushed steel is just uh, in position it's, it's not anchored down I know a lot of people did convert targets into convertibles back in the day Rear 14 inch Fuchs. I'm going to lean underneath. So hopefully you can see we're jacked up on the tube. You can get, if you can actually tolerate the videos, you can you can get a, a semi decent idea from your armchair or desk as to how she is. And to reiterate, um, the car does come with a rear target glass, which is not in the car it does not come with a front windscreen it comes with a passenger side door door card only um, it does not come with rear door cards or driver's side door card nor does it come with front or rear seats i do have a 912 transmission four speed available and the 1970, I believe, five-speed transmission, might be four, I think it might be four, I'm not sure, I think four, four-speed transmission, and a 1970, I believe, and we'd have to check the engine numbers, 2.2 uh, air cooled engine. So the engine turns, we believe, According to the uh, previous owner, for more than 20 years, this is original to the car and has not been removed. Transmission is still in the car. This is uh, glue and sponge. That is the original pastel blue. Almost reminds me of a slightly lighter Renault Gordini colour. 
be lovely to see it back in that colour. Gas tank. Excuse me. Door glass is in there. Same on uh, passenger side, so all door glass is, is intact. Help so that is like a, a glue. That tank in a fender with carpet glue on it but solid uh, the rust due to water accumulation is literally at floor level as you can see we've not cleaned it we've not polished it obviously or anything like that we We've left it so that everything is up front and uh, transparent. Everything up under here is solid. I can't lean in. Check through the videos for a whole list of parts that we've got. Um, every used part came off the vehicle and the new parts which they're only cables and seals and stuff there's nothing of any value as such but there are quite a few new parts that will help we've got all of the dashboard parts i have not yet seen the dashboard clocks so unless we find them and announce that we've got them assume that the clocks are not there um, original door card the only one, um, and again, just to reiterate, seats, front and rear, are gone, never to return again, and we only have one door guard uh, inside of the Targa hoop. Uh, as stated before, dashboard, no cracks. And this, this mottle defect, just dust from the uh, from the rain cover. So we'll just do one more little video, which will be of one of the wheels, just to get you a serial number. Because we don't know the serial number, so we'll find out together whether they are 1970 uh, Fuchs. Oh, and I've got three, three spare Fuchs wheels as well for sale. So another little walk around. 1970 Porsche 911T, long nose. Originally a tan interior with pastel blue paintwork and somewhere in the Bringer Trailer advert is a copy of the Porsche Certificate of Authenticity. Okay, there she is. Thank you for having the patience to uh, Watch if you made it this far. Cheers.